Hey guys, Language Hacker here. Got another post mini set deck for you guys to play. Um, it's not super spicy, it's Ramp Druid, but there are a few new cards here that does change how the deck interacts with a couple of other uh, decks in the meta. And what I mean by that is Due Process. Now, Due Process is a very interesting card. Uh, for the rest of the game, players draw an extra card at the start of their turn. It's a two mana nature spell. Card draw in general is good. And historically, mirrored effects that benefit both players aren't necessarily good. And not even historically, just in general, right? If you're paying fa mana for this and both you and your opponent are getting value out of it, that's kind of weird, right? So you have to be able to take advantage of this in a different way. And druids can because of guff. Guff gives you more mana. Guff gives you more stuff. So with the more stuff that you get from guff, it's enough to play extra mana and cards you get from due process. So you can actually use the extra cards you get more efficiently than your opponent. They're more dumpable because you have more mana to uh, to dump. Um, it's very good against control decks because they just don't have mana to spend all their cards. It's not so great against aggro decks. But, I mean, it's Druid. Druid dies to aggro a lot anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and there's anti-aggro tools in this deck as well. There's Spammy, obviously Scale of Anixia, a couple of early game minions as well. Druid of the Reef, Dozen Kelp Keeper, Plant That Evidence. You know, that there's ways to, to help against aggro. Um, this is Habugabu's list. I haven't really changed any cards. Uh, I really wanted to try the due process that he was running. Uh, Savannah is also in here. This is one of the new cards in the mini set as well. Battle cry, destroy an enemy minion. Infuse seven, take control of it instead. Seems pretty good. Kill a thing is good. Uh, Druid has trouble killing things um, sometimes. And stealing a thing is better than killing a thing. Usually, not always. Um, otherwise, ramp, sire, bran, devour. Earthen Scales, Topior, you guys know how this deck wins. So, Mulligan early for Ramp, look for Wild Growth, look for Jerry Rig. Um, I actually don't think you're supposed to keep Due Process too often. I think there's some matchups where it's okay, but you definitely don't want to play it onto against Aggro. Uh, and then if you're against Aggro, you can keep the, the cheap cards here, right? Kelp Keeper, Druid, Planted can help you deal with some early aggression as well. Otherwise, keep the Ramp, and then eventually you'll find a win condition, either with Tempo, Devour, Anexia... Brand Sire, if Theotar gets you there too, you'll figure it out. Happy climbing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Helps the channel a lot, and I hope to see you guys next time. All right, what do we got here? Shaman. I don't think I need spamming that quickly. Do I want to play Due Process? Let me check stats. Due Process looks really bad to keep, so you know what? I'm not going to keep it. Do I want this? It deals with some early threats. Is that a good enough reason to keep it? Hmm. I, maybe. On the play, I'd say no. On the coin, maybe. Whew. Do I play this? I don't think I do. Because I'm happy playing it on two, right? And now I actually kill this. But they might not go for... The oh, that's upsetting. I could just taunt here. Am I coining Seedsman? I can take two. This seems pretty good for me. So we're going to coin Seedsman into, into Guff now. Keeping it means I don't die to Tempo Bolner. You know what? That's a very good. Uh, that's a very good call. What does make me sad here is is coining this out is really bad into the cultist, but that's okay. We're gonna guff. We're gonna ramp after that. Things are gonna be fine. All right, I'm okay with that. Guff. I could nourish instead here, but I think I'm okay with the guff. Then we can activate Kelp Keeper. Do, is it a Kelp Keeper angle or is it a scale angle? I think it's a Kelp Keeper angle. It could actually be a spammy angle now. 
right? Drew to the reef into that. Then we have a one, two, three, four. I kind of like that. I don't ramp, but that's okay, I think. This buys me a lot of time. I think I like this. It also means they don't have a great evolve target now. They have to commit something first. It's a pretty good evolve target. They can't quite play a Knoll. Costs two mana right now. There's a one shell. That is interesting. Uh, due process here is okay. I actually do mill them. I can rank, ramp, ramp up a bit as well. I think I'm okay doing that. There's not quite enough on board for me to be scared. Do I bother ramping here? I think I do. I don't think that scares me. There's not really nature spells they play. It would be a shame if something good were milled here, huh? I didn't play due process! Oops, I meant to play due process here, not the jerry rig. Oh no! That's okay. It'll still be good next turn. Right, guys? I could have played it anyway. That's not true. Uh, if this gave me a, a mana crystal, then yeah. I meant to play it over the Jerry Rig. Whoopsie. Could have played it over ramping, but that felt bad. The thing is, I did really want to draw the other Nourish before uh, playing Due Process because of the fact that I had both Jerrigs in hand and only one Nourish in the deck. I could have planted it, yeah, but that probably isn't worth. It's, I'm not likely enough to hit it, and this gets better later. Theotara? I don't think I need to. This is a pretty fine Anixia. I could alternate the scale of Anixia. It doesn't full clear though, which makes me a little sad. Do I do process or do I ramp? I can find ramping still. Greed mode. That goes there, that goes there. But a boop, but a beep, but a bop. Making some trades here without getting any infuses, but that's okay. We have a lot of mana to work with now. Right, like this turn I can ramp again, get the due process online, and even draw some cards if I want to. There's a consideration to go brand Theotar. Or save the brand for later and just Theotar now. Their hand is quite big and they played two of the Swarmers already. So there's a decent chance we hit something a bit more relevant. Their hand seems to be a bit slower. Maelstrom. That's actually really good here. Uh, they don't have another wind chill, right? Oh my god, they hit a taunt. So I could Moonlit here. I think I do start with Moonlit. Uh, how do you guys feel about due process, Druid? Does that sound fun to you? I could have two more guffs, but I feel like this seems a lot more fun. So let's try this and see how this goes, huh? What could go wrong, guys? Now the question here is, is this going face or trading? Eight is a lot. It is a lot. Clownfish is a relevant mill, so I'm kind of happy with that, because that's one of the cards that actually lets them dump cards. Oh boy, are we having fun. Okay, due process. 
We draw three cards a turn, I think. And we can make it four. And we have more mana to spend than them, so that's kind of nice. It is nice. Hey, Junk Stuff. How's it going? Good to see you. That's fine. There's nothing really that relevant in my hand. What are they going to do? Take and enrich? They could take my Theotar, so I can't meme on them. But this still doesn't help their problem of dying and drawing too many cards. What do they take here? They took the ramp. Well, they don't have a guff, so that doesn't actually help them. I think we're in a very good position here. That's fine. That's also fine. Okay, I need to dump cards. This might be a good time to play Plant That Evidence to find a way to dump cards. Urban Scales is fine, but I don't have a target for it. Power of the Wild is fine. A lot of tempo with it. I think I'm okay with this. Just play a bunch of crappy minions. That seems fine. Oh, I do have an Urban Scales target. What am I talking about? I'm like, man, my hand has no big size minions. I'm not super scared of these. Uh, I, I lost a bit of armor here because I wasn't paying attention, but that's fine. I kind of feel like I just want to hit him for 10. I might get Insatiable Devoured, so that's a reason to trade. But 10 is so much. I'm actually going to trade here, because the sound of getting Insatiable Devoured does not sound very appealing to me right now. And that is a way I could lose, so let's play around that. Okay. Kick by. Right, that's exactly how I lose. That They play Insatiable Devour and... Ooh... That is an incredibly large sire. And that's not a problem, but the problem is the fact that they can, uh, brand me. Let's try that again. I'm drawing cards here, which is a little not great with due process, but I want a brand here to steal some stuff. I do not want to get Makad right now. And I, I have some pretty poopy cards I can give them. I would very much like to take my macaw, uh, take that macaw. You can have enrich. Uh, also, another trade deal, if you don't mind. I will take your bran, and you can have the spammy. And now, what do I do? I nom. Om nom nom. And. Ramping doesn't really help me, so I'm, I'm going to do this and make it more annoying for them. I already know one of the Devourers is gone. If they don't have another one, that's really bad. And I need more health on the board in case they do have the second Macaw. I I do die here to, like, Bull or Macaw, which is a little sketchy. I don't die, die, but it, it's not good for me. That was one of the worst trade deals of all time. I don't know. I was pretty happy with how that deal uh, ended up going. I've also drawn a couple of cards now, so I'm, I'm in a little bit of trouble. How many cards do I draw? I draw four. We each draw four every turn, I think. Okay. I don't like that they didn't kill Bran here. Why didn't they kill Bran here? Oh, they're drawing. What are they drawing for? Not Primordial Wave, clearly. They could still hit Macaw, but just Macaw's not good enough. Oh my god, they drew. The schooling, that's not going to do it. That's not going to do it either. 
Oh, this is going to be the biggest devourer in the trade deals of devourers ever. Oh, give me that R. Oh, wait, that's not infused. Like I care. Wait, was this infused? This was not infused either. Oh. Oh, well. Um, nom 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 nom. I don't really need to do anything, you know? I am winning by a gross amount right now. And I also don't think I need to draw cards. I'm just gonna chill. Right now, I don't know how I lose. Some really weird way where they clear my board and then start munising my hand. Which I don't actually think is possible. But, we'll do this. So if they do have... Oh. Yeah, this is fine. Is this fine? This is fine. This is fine. Because I can still kill that. They, they do have a McCall left, though. Um, nom 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 nom. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't need to brand that. So if they brand, that was infused. I can make it random, so it doesn't always eat it, actually. I could draw cards here. I don't think I need to, though. I think I'm just winning in fatigue, so I don't need to make that worse. Right? Because of due process? Playing brand was quite bad there. It wasn't as bad as you think it was, but it definitely wasn't. It, it, so it actually is relevant, because the only way they can kill us now is with Macaw, their own Macaw. And this actually makes it twice as likely that this Macaw sticks, right? Okay, now it, now it, now it doesn't. But that's still fine. I have the Sylvanas. And now they start fatiguing. God, this is the biggest macabre I've ever seen. This is so funny. Okay. So, this has to happen this turn. Oh, I can take control of it. So we do this. We find some nature spells. Uh, sure. I have mana to spend, why not? Oh, I should have played the Kelp Keeper first. That's fine. So let me do this. Do this. That is a wonderful Macaw. I think I will take it. Well, I think that gets there. They actually just, even if they somehow deal with this, they just die to fatigue, right? They take 2, 3, 4, 5. 7 times 2, 14. So if one Denathrius take goes face, we win. What if they Sylvanas it back? It's fine. This was an interesting game of Hearthstone. This was an interesting game of Hearthstone. I don't currently have stats for it. Do I keep Topiar? It's Mage. I probably want Topiar. Probably don't keep Watch Post though. If I'm keeping a greedy card, I should look for Ramp. Um. Okay, I can't quite find it in Paladin here. I don't play that. I don't want it in Taunt. I want it to, in Rush to kill something. But if I put it in Rush, it's gonna get pinged. Interesting. Uh, oh, is it this deck? This must be a new deck then. Um, 
I mean, I don't care about this. It's one of these two. I don't think I need Rune to win the game, so I'm going to take Objection. Okay. Is this worth killing? Ooh, it's actually not. Sorry. Uh, because they, I know they have Objection, and this way I can object their Objection. So I actually want to keep this. And that was a great draw. But even if I didn't draw this, I, I would have just not played the Druid because of the, uh, the, because of the implication. So it, look like, it looks like that's actually just the deck that they're playing. Interesting. I guess that matchup is very good against Druid. Um, but it shouldn't even be that good because of the spammies. I just got really unlucky that I took like 30 from it. Is it a due process angle? I feel like I don't want to do until later on, maybe after Guff. I think this is fine right now. Due process does work a little nicely because uh, I already have the watch post on board. But I think I want to slow down their development. That's really unfortunate that they had their second one drop. Oh, it's Secret Mage. They played the objection from their deck instead. Very funny, very funny. Hmm. Okay. I could now play Drew to the Reef, but again, we have the issue where I can't uh, proc objection, and I would kind of like to proc objection. I have some health to work with, so I'm not in a, in a huge rush. I am in a little bit of a rush, but not uh, not enough that I'm going to play the Druid here. When I play Guff, the turn after, I'm going to have seven mana to play this. And I might have to delay this if they do play the objection. Because if, if I do play this now, then Guff, and they play the objection, I don't have any plays. And that seems bad. Coin five. These three cards cost one more. So they have objection that costs three mana, and then one other card from their deck. It's a little annoying, but fine. That is absolutely going to happen. Ooh, and we hit an Innervate or an Aquatic Form. I'm not playing either, though. Even just going this turn, like, uh, Topia or Vate Druid is, is kind of okay. If they don't play the, uh, the thing. I know, they played the thing. Okay. So we can Druid to the Reef, then uh, Sylvanas. Because mm -hmm. I kind of don't want to die. Looks like we got a sticky situation on our hands, huh? Okay. I could ship a due process, but they're kind of low on cards, so I actually don't think I do want to do that. I think I'm fine proccing this the sticky situation. Because it does help me out here a little bit. Kill the biggest thing, and then kill the biggest thing. We have the Siren Hand to start stabilizing, or to stabilize when we need to. Fading gives them a bit of damage, but it lets me ramp, which I kind of like. We could just straight up play this next turn, depending on what they do here. Mm. Otherwise, we probably go Moonlit Guidance. Mm. Okay, I'm not super excited to play those right now. Start off with this, because I'm fine with this getting counterspelled. It's not counterspelled. Jerry draws me uh, nature spells, but it's really bad against explosive runes. I could scale here. I think scale is probably safer. It's a lot safer. This was from their deck, the secret. 
Do I think that they're running Vengeful Visage? It would be kind of absurd if they were. Okay. Well, if I don't get uh, Theotard, we win the game. And their deck shouldn't run Theotard because they're an aggro deck. But that hasn't stopped people before. So we'll see. Excellent. So that first secret is literally explosive runes. This second secret could be anything. So I'll start with Moonlit Guidance. Okay. I want something that can get... Uh, oh, th there's a problem here, though. Because the explosive runes. But I think I'm okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. So does that actually proc the Moonlit Guidance? It does not. Now, I could draw a card which plays around Theotar, which I know they don't have in hand. Theotar was very good this turn. So unless they, they have two draws for Theotar, or I just put myself in a very good position on board. I think I just do this. Oh, this second one could be anything. Hmm. I could just pass here. It's bad against second reckless. But I'm okay with that. This is a waste of Sally, so if I double trade, I have to trade three more off, which is a little yucky. And if they Reckless here, I'm actually just kind of okay with it, because I just play the Sire. There's been a lot of aggro on ladder. Wow, they actually hit the... Oh, Bartender's fine, I don't mind that. Another objection? That's really bad. Okay, that's fine. So we know this is a waste of Sally. I could get two nature I could get two extra healing. Or I could just like draw a card or something. Seven. I could kill two. Kill this. The uh Oasis ally comes up. That's three, four, five, six, seven, plus nine, twenty-six. It's not lethal. But do I still play this? Or do I like ramp instead or something? I think it's just good enough. I think I draw. Okay. I think they lost. I actually just fatigue them now, right? Like, they're gonna die to due process, which is kind of cute. More Drush. Okay. We have the Devour for it. I can start off with this. That's cute. Is that good, though? Probably not. So it spawns a 3-3, three, three, and trading this makes my Devourer a little weaker by 3 health, but it makes it a bit stronger by an extra 3 health. So we do this. We do this. Hit him with a watch post. Okay. And I think we're good. It's actually really interesting how the Guff nerf worked out, right? Because if you look at all my turns, there were several turns where I had like one mana left over, and the turn would have been so much better if I could have gained an, uh, gained a mana crystal, not an empty one. Looks like they died. Okay. Interesting. Holding that first Druid of the Reef was very important. 